Good afternoon. Welcome to the pregame or preseason basketball program here on Super Hits 1290 and on Sandyland Television. And I have Danny Smith, third year head coach here. Danny, you had a state championship and you had a third place. Now, tell me if you're going to be able to keep that little tradition up that you got started here. <laughs> I, I sure hope so, but I can't say, can't guarantee anything. Exactly. Talk to us just a little bit about the kids that you lost last year. Um, well, we lost four good seniors, and one of them, Tori Astle, didn't get to play last year because she was had an injury. But um, you know, we lost three starters, and uh, a couple of them had started for several years. Lost our uh, best shooter, and just several of our smartest players. So, bigger than that is probably going to be the leadership. You know, uh, that's uh, where we'll be. That's, from losing those guys. My next question was, who is going to be the leader of this basketball team this year? Well, that's a good question, too. Um, you know, one of our the best things about our team is we don't have any seniors. <laughs> and one of the worst things about our team is we don't have any seniors. So you can look at it either way. And um, I look at it as a positive thing. I get to have all these girls for at least two more years. So that's a good thing. Talk to us a little bit about the players that are really going to be an impact with you in this basketball team this year. Well, of course, you know, Teresa Wade is just going to be a, an outstanding player, a big, strong, physical girl. Had a really good year last year as a sophomore, and, and she's only going to get better. And, um, you know, outside of that, Jamie Waters played some varsity last year for us, and, and uh, she'll be a factor again. But... You know, her and, and Morgan played some significant time in, in varsity, and they're both just sophomores. So I can't say how good they're going to be because they're just sophomores. And, and uh, you know, we've got a lot of inexperience. Ten, ten of our 12 girls are freshmen and sophomores. The younger players that you need to step up, is that going to be critical with your team this year? Absolutely. And that will that'll determine our whole season because – you know, the younger players are going to have to play. Whether or not they're ready to play varsity, that's not the question. Um, they're going to have to play, and so that's that's going to be the key for us. Your league schedule and your non-league schedule, your league schedule has always been tough because you got here in that league. But uh, your non-league schedule, is that is that another part of it that's going to be pretty critical? Oh, yeah. I mean, we we do have some pretty tough non-league games, and that, that Pratt tournament's got – two more 6A schools or five and 6A schools added to it. So that'll be that'll be a really tough tournament. So, um, you know, all that we, you know, hope prepares us for the postseason, which we want to. We got a good tradition started here. We hope to keep it up. Well, St. John uh, basketball, boys and girls, has been good for a long time. And that's just due to the community and the parents, and we just hope it keeps going. One more thing before I let you go. You, you're going to start out with Skyline here on the third. We're going to be here with you. Uh, what's that team looking like this year? You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I haven't. Uh, I know they lost a couple good players like we did, but they're they're going to be young and and uh, still have, they still have a lot more experience left than we do. But um, we like our chances with about anybody really. So. We'll just come out and play hard like we always do and see what happens. Well, you've been competitive since the last three years, so uh, good luck to you in the St. John Day. Uh, Clint Kenneman, head coach, 10 years worth here in St. John High School, and you again, an, another tradition guy that's got a basketball team that, uh, you know, you, you lost a lot of good kids last year. What do you expect out of this one this year? Well, you know, you say it's been 10 years. That has flown by. There is no doubt about that. It's been a great 10 years. I've uh, been very blessed to have good players here. Community support is outstanding, and uh, it's been a fun ride. We did lose some kids last year. We lost Dan Hilton, our leading scorer. Uh, he ended up being an honorable mention 1A kid last year. We lost Omar Herrera, who was maybe one of the most competitive kids that I've had since I've been here. And then we lost Matt Ward. So. You know, we lost some kids. Uh, we do return three starters in uh, Zach Aker, Brandon Blakesley, and, and uh, Zach Menace. 
those are the, those three guys are going to make your basketball team go this year? Well, you know, to a certain extent they are. Uh, Aker really came on at the end of last year uh, against league teams and then the last half of the season averaged about 16 points a game and 10 rebounds. So he really kind of stepped up. We lost Brandon Blakesley about two-thirds of the way through the year uh, with a broken foot in multiple places. Uh, and that really hurt came, came postseason time. Uh, we missed his, his uh, shooting ability, we missed his competitiveness. And then Zach Menace, you know, seems like Zach and Brandon have been around forever here. Uh, there's probably teams that are saying, hold oh, it, they should have graduated two years ago. But uh, both those kids, uh, you know, are, are going to be good leaders for our team. And then Akers, he's just a heck of a player. When you look at your younger kids, Clint, who do you need to step up this year to teach? All of them. <laughs> All of them. That's uh, a typical coach's attitude you know, right there. <laughs> we do. We've got some really good sophomores, and we've got an outstanding freshman class coming in that uh, people have been, been seeing developed uh, for a lot of years, and, and some of those kids are going to have to play. But uh, the sophomore class, you know, Ethan Long played a lot last year as a freshman. Another kid named Gabe Oliver, who's probably our best athlete in the, the entire high school, is going to play basketball this year. And then uh, Kenza Christmas, a junior, you know, he more or less was kind of a starter anyway. So he's back. And then a kid named Jacob Falk, uh, who's a junior, will be a good player too. Let's talk a little bit about your league schedule. Always a tough league to go into and always a tough league to be in. Uh, you, you got people like Maxville, you got people like South Central, you got people like the Kiowa County. This is going to be kind of a rough season as far as well, they're going to be pretty competitive. To you, you, you are exactly right. Uh, in the league, Maxville's huge. You know, I don't know what they've got going on over there to get all these big kids, but they always have good bigs. Uh, they've got two senior bigs that are both going to be good players. Their guard play is going to be pretty good also. Uh, you look at Claflin. You know, they lost, they lost a lot of kids. Uh, the Miller kid's still a good player. He's going to make them strong. Quivera Heights, they lost a lot of kids. But, you know, Gunnar Phelan, that, that kid is one tough competitor. He's going to find a way to get them to win. Victoria always has good athletes. Uh, Otis Bison, obviously, they're playing in the state championship game right now in football. Obviously, they have athletes. So, you know, we got our work cut out all throughout the league. There's there's no night that you can say, hey, we can take this game, you know, real light and just kind of go. But uh, at the same time, that helps us, makes us better down the road. And your non-league schedule well, is just as tough, isn't it? It always is. It always is. You know, the Midwinter Classic is going to be awesome uh, with the teams that are coming in again. Um, the preseason tournament where we're playing Inman, we're playing Trinity, and we're playing Sedgwick all on the road. You know, those are good, bigger schools that uh, they help us do. Quick, uh, you, got a, you got kind of an uphill battle this year, you think? Well, yes and no. Uh, you know, we lost some kids off last year's team. We were 12 and 10. But we've got, we've got probably the most uh, athletic team that I've had since our state championship team. Uh, we've got tremendous quickness. And uh, we're going to pick you up as soon as you get off the bus and, and uh, try to make the game as fast as we can. All right, Clint. Well, we'll see you on December the 3rd against Skyline. Sounds outstanding. All right, thank Look you. Look forward to it.